In this video, we're going to simplify algebraic expressions using something called the distributive property. Now, the distributive property is where we've got some term that's multiplied by something in parentheses. That term needs to be multiplied not just by the first one, but it also means it's multiplying by the second one. So we would do a times b, do it this way, a times b, and we would also multiply the a times the c, and we would have that sum from both products. Distribute that a onto both. So how does that look in an example? Well, if I have negative 2 times 5x minus 4y plus 3, we'll take that negative 2 times the 5x, that's negative 10x, and we'll distribute the negative 2 times the negative 4y, being careful of signs, negative times negative is positive, 8y's, and we'll continue distributing that negative 2 until we reach the end of the parentheses. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and we have simplified using the distributive property, negative 10x plus 8y minus 6. Let's look at one more example. Here we've got a 4 in front of parentheses, and that 4 can distribute into the parentheses onto the 7x squared. 4 times 7x squared is 28x squared. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 of the x's. And finally, 4 times the 1 is 4 for our final solution of 28x squared minus 24x plus 4. If we have a monomial or one term in front of a parenthesis, we can distribute that through multiplying by each term inside the parenthesis.